Hello everyone. Today we are talking about what a split token is, the splitting procedure, what splitting itself represents, rewards for splits, and so on. We'll go through the entire splitting process together and see what it is and how it works. Splitting is a new phenomenon. It is not staking, mining, minting, or farming, which means no familiar method of coin generation will fully help you understand how splitting works, but we will figure it out today. So on the screen you see the interface of the smart wallet. This application is now available on all platforms. It's on the App Store for iOS and on Google Play if you have Android. Please note that if you want to participate in splitting, your app version must not be lower than 1.5.0. This applies to both iOS and Android. The required version is exactly this. To access the split screen, you need to choose the corresponding split token from the list of coins. We always have Smart in the first place, followed by Ultima and then Split. When we select the split token, we can see on the screen the balance of our token, its wallet, and its approximate equivalent in USDT. There are also useful buttons, Receive, Send, and Transactions. Here we can see how many tokens we've had in total. So we can simply look at our screen as if we have a regular token. However, to access the most crucial tool, the most important feature, you need to click on the splitting button. So the screen opens. The first thing that interests us here, of course, is splits. It's the balance of our split tokens that we transferred to our wallet. Only those tokens that are in your wallet can participate in splitting. The duration of their existence affects the rewards for splitting. We can see how many splits are currently in the blockchain. Right now, it shows how many have appeared in the first four days of operation. That is 1,765,427 splits. That is a lot. Honestly, I didn't expect such a large volume. The next section pertains to the reward and the halving period. Just a reminder, halving is an event where the number of newly released coins decreases exactly by half. On the screen, we can currently see three sections. The first one displays the daily reward. This is the amount of coins that the system can distribute within a single day. 51 tokens, 84 hundredths of an ultima. So, this represents the maximum possible daily reward size for all split holders. Next, we see the current block and the final block. What are these numbers? 5 million, 10 million? These represent the period during which the current reward calculation conditions apply. So, under the current halving period, which started from the first block and will continue until the 10 millionth block, the daily reward amounts to 51 and 84 hundreds of an ultima. Once 10 million and one blocks are created, the reward will decrease by half, becoming just a little over 25 ultima. And this cycle repeats every 10 million blocks. We are accustomed to thinking in terms of calendars, days, hours, minutes, Meetings, trips, vacations, two weeks, three weeks, a year, two, a month, deposits, credits, mortgages, and so on. But blockchain does not understand what a calendar is. Instead, it knows how many blocks have been created. Here, for example, in the Bitcoin network, Halvin occurs every four years. And this happens at a specific block. People have calculated that this event occurs approximately once every four years years, but no one knows the exact date and time when it will happen, when exactly the required number of blocks will be created. One can only guess which moment this will happen at, based on current data. This is how the entire cryptocurrency, the entire blockchain works. So you see at the moment you have almost 6 million blocks and the final block is after 10 million. 
So as long as another 4 million blocks are being created, the reward will be 51.84 hundredths of a token per day. Now let's look at the my estimated reward figure. Why estimate it? Simply because during the time our screen is open and we are just sitting here chatting, the number of blocks could have already increased. Consequently, this amount may not exactly match the reward that will be fixed when you confirm your receipt of the reward. What else is important to understand while we are on the screen? The value of my estimated reward is calculated exclusively based on the time the split tokens have been in your wallet. With each split, with each of your splitting, when you directly request the reward, the age of the tokens is reset. And this is clearly visible on the My Splits tab. It is clickable and shows all your existing splits. It is important to understand that it's impossible to receive a reward for a token that has been in your wallet for less than one day. This is a rule of the contract itself. There is just this existing split contract that distributes ultimate tokens among all splitting participants. It all works on the blockchain, you are a full participant in this process and only you are its initiator. If we go back now, the number will update. You see, it has grown while we were discussing it. So once again, in the blockchain, there is no calendar and clock. We do not know exactly when a particular event will happen in it. But we can roughly know how much one second is worth. And we definitely know how many seconds are in a day. There are 86,400 of them. By the way, the blockchain can count seconds because it knows what Unix time is. It's a universally known time launched on January the 1st, 1970, where seconds are simply expressed in numerical format. So how many seconds have your splits been in your wallet? This information is known to the blockchain, and thus the storage period of tokens in your wallet determines the size of the reward. But here is an interesting moment. If you don't press the button every day, here's what we'll see. The number of seconds will increase, the cost of seconds will increase, but the number of splits in the system will also increase. As we know, a smart contract is not a database. It does not have physical storage. It can simply perform mathematical calculations, and it always uses the existing format, how many splits there are at the current moment. That is, with each passing day, the number of splits becomes larger. Keep in mind that the number of splits will always increase, and the reward may decline. So, you can decide for yourself what is more profitable. To press the button every day, or wait for a month, two, three, but at the moment you perform this action, the system will calculate for you based on the total number of splits in the network. Now let's press the magical claim reward button. Please note, this amount doesn't go anywhere until you request it. It doesn't get credited to anyone. These aren't tokens that are owed to you. Until you claim the reward, no transfers, no transactions take place. When you landed on this page, the system checked the blockchain, found out how much you have according to the contract, and told you. It is your right to press Claim Reward, or you can leave it for later. Let's click on Claim Reward now. Now we see the confirmation that our splits are ready. 70 splits in one transaction. Incoming split transaction for 70 tokens. Now I can agree to claim the reward. And as the initiator, I'll pay the fee, the commission. Here's a tip. Network fees are always paid by the one operating the blockchain. So it's always the one who initiates, not the one receiving. The one who interacts with a smart contract with a question, request, or calculation. Every action requires energy and it's paid by everyone initiating the execution of this smart contract. For example, you agree to claim the reward. 
we have 0.2772 millionths. Press confirm. See that the reward was requested. You demanded it. For storing splits in your wallet, for following the rules, for keeping them, you get rewarded. Press OK. And you land on the Ultima screen. Here you can see the incoming transaction. But it's more than it was when you pressed the button, because seconds always increase. While you are pressing, a few seconds passed and you got not 0.2772 millionths, but 0.2781 millionths. Let's look at this transaction, copy this hash, and go back to our explorer. Now paste the hash in our explorer. And we see that everything was successful. Here's our hash, here's the amount of our tokens, and here's our token tracker. We see where it came from, from which address. So I, the owner of this wallet, initiated the smart contract. We see that it says trigger smart contract. It means I requested it. This wallet and this contract. The value is zero smart because I didn't operate smart contracts. But nevertheless, I operated SRC20. That's our token standard. I received 0 0.002781 of Ultima. Now look at the network fee. Consume bandwidth, consume energy. This amount of bandwidth and energy was spent to process my smart contract. And now I was charged 21.86200 thousands for processing and executing my request. It was one request for 70 tokens, but sometimes there can be several at once, five from here, three from there, and the amount will be different. So for very complex calculations, the fee can be 100 or even 140, but it never reached 200. Now let's go back to our wallet and see what happened to our splits. Go to the page, click on Splitting. And the countdown begins. We have to wait another 23 hours, 15 minutes. Until the tokens mature, even the smart contract can't tell me how much I am entitled to. When 84,600 seconds pass, it will immediately show me the value. Let's say if you have split tokens, some that have matured and some that haven't. What will the smart contract do when you apply for the reward? You have 150 splits. How many of them are ready for the reward? 1. The smart contract did its job, credited the reward for one token, and reset the rest. 149 along with the mature one. So, the timing starts over again, so please be careful and pay attention. We see that we have splits. It's my one big transaction of 70 tokens. The timer is running 23 hours. If someone sends me something now, I'll have split number 2. And here the timer will count differently. When they all mature, I can do the splitting again. They will merge and you will have more than 70 tokens. So when you make a payout from your DeFi U wallets, you have incoming transactions. 1, 2, 3, 4. When you do the splitting, they merge and the countdown starts over for the entire amount. So that's what our meeting was about, essentially dedicated to blockchain. Now we know that the initiator of the contract is always the payer. We've covered how to get splits and participate in the distribution of rewards. Thank you for your attention everyone. Wishing you all success.